Oh my god. I swear to god my neighbors think I'm a cam girl. <laughs> this is gonna be quick. I just have a few things to say. Good morning. I'm going to be cutting my orange while I do this. It is important to feel something these days. <laughs> um, okay, so I filmed this video, a masterpiece, if you will, a few nights ago. I have now been in my apartment alone for 16 days, so listen, okay? Watching this video back, I was definitely glitching the entire time. Let me get my orange. My orange in a tiny little bowl because I am a chef. Masterpieces all I do. Oh, no. Oh, no The point of my disclaimer is that it feels weird to post a video that's meant to be like lighthearted and <laughs> A joke, please know that I'm joking when the undertone of the world is so sad right now I've been reading people's DMS and just know that if you're panicking at 3 in the morning I'm probably awake panicking too. So send me a DM anyway I hope you guys are all staying safe and clean and staying home whenever you can and if you can't stay home if you're still working just know that we in the world appreciate you. And you are currently keeping everyone afloat right now. <laughs> so hopefully this video brings you something. Maybe it will remind you that um, you're actually sane. <laughs> Here's my video. <clears throat> Hi. It's Saturday, March 21st. Wow, okay, life update. Jeez, the neighbors know my name and only my name. I have a lot to say and clearly so does my bed frame. A talkative bunch. Ah! Uh, the paper things from the tea. Let me fish it out. The paper, see those things. Those things, ah! No, come back! This is why paper straws are problematic because I can't fish out the thing. So I'm gonna give you a general life update, which I've never done a, Wait, oh my god, my voice just cracked because I got nervous because I don't like talking about myself. I've never done a general life update video, so I thought I would generally update you about life. I'm only gonna let myself talk for like three minutes, but there's a happy ending and an even better afterthought. So the year is 2020. This year I've only posted two videos, which is absurd and like kind of not okay. And a good thing, this year has been really sad. Like the helicopter crash, obviously the coronavirus is really freaking sad. You know, the girl has been going through the ringer. The ringer called and said, ring, ring, hello, it's your turn to go through the ringer. So I went through the ringer. I have a lot of videos that I filmed throughout the year and then just never ended up posting because I felt a lot of pressure to just get better and better. I don't know how to explain what it does to your psyche when you are one week living in honky donkey suburbia serving chips and salsa and then the next week you're in LA and everyone's on Instagram yelling at you because you're using a plastic straw but you didn't you didn't know so like it's a 180 life switch that happened really fast and so I never really felt like I could catch up with what was happening so I kind of just kept doing it but I wasn't really understanding what was going on. I was just kind of like floating in the abyss. Listen, I've always been depressed. So I don't want to say that YouTube made me more depressed but it definitely made me socially anxious because you have like this internal feeling that everyone's watching everything you do just waiting for you to say something that's like actually wrong and then they're gonna blow up your entire life and so you're just like, oh my god, I'm just gonna stay home. I don't know how. I literally don't know how it's possible and I've already mentioned this before so now I have no choice but to laugh and be like, how did that even happen? Because from when I started YouTube to like August of last year, I gained 50 pounds and I've already said that before and like who cares now because that was then and this is now. So I'm gonna explain this to you in the best way that I possibly can, all right? So picture me in a restaurant, all right? Here's my little chef hat. Um, this is my restaurant. Screw all the things that are behind me. This is my restaurant, don't get it twisted. This is my mixing bowl and I'm gonna make a big Morgan pie, all right? So I'm thinking about what I'm gonna put in my pie. I'm like, all right, a little bit of depression, a lot of social anxiety, all right, 50 pounds, all right, it's getting pretty hard to stir, but we're still gonna stir it and we're still gonna try to bake. And then, oh my God, your manager hired another chef so the other chef walks in and you're like, dude, get away from my pie. And he's like, oh my God, what are you making? And I'm like, I'm stirring. And he's like, can I have some ingredients? And I'm like, no, I have enough ingredients. Get the fuck away from me. And he's like, oh my God, I know exactly what this pie needs to just make it burn and suffer. And he's like, all right, I have the perfect ingredients for what I want to do to this pie because this is not going to be on the five-star food list. I'm telling you that. And he's like, all right, here, 
up here is the this is the other chef not me obviously i would never self-sabotage my own pie what does this look like and he's like this is a bunch of comments of people telling you that you're fat and ugly and he just takes a big load of that and he's like put it in the pie and I'm like, I can't stir anymore. And then my spoon breaks and I can't stir anymore. So I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? I don't have a spoon. So how am I supposed to make my pie? Then the other chef is like, wow, your pie really sucks. You should stop making pie. And I'm like, you're right. I should stop making pie altogether. So I'm gonna stop making pie altogether. And that is why I haven't been posting videos. Get the picture, kind of. I'm out of breath. Oh man, this tea is really good though take a step back and I'm gonna check myself and I'm gonna look at myself internally and be like okay what needs to change because I can no longer live like this I just want to be a happy chef that makes happy freaking pies and has a line at the door of everyone waiting for my iconic cherry pie but you kind of have to do some digging you have to really dig for the recipe inside of you is this is what quarantine has done to me I am comparing my life to a chef that doesn't exist so thankfully, with the guidance of things such as therapy, uh, working out every day, relearning how to take care of my body, not eating chicken fingers for every meal, adding a little bit of antidepressants in there, I, for the first time, am ready to make pies again. I never thought I would say this in my entire life. You are just as surprised as I am right now because this is like crazy for me, all right? Because I'm gonna say it, I don't wanna jinx it, but I'm gonna say it, I am Say it with me. Mentally stable. <laughs> My brain resurrected from the dead. It literally said, good morning. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. I'm awake. For the first time in my probably entire life, I am experiencing genuine happiness. It, like Jesus put his hand in my bedroom and was like, you're coming with me. I've said it once before, I'll say it again. The lower your lows, the higher your highs. Some of us have some really low lows and I can feel you on that one. If you're feeling stuck right now, which I know with the coronavirus especially, um, a lot of people are stuck at home and they're feeling kind of hopeless or down and like not themselves. I know that it can be really hard to compare yourself and your life to other people on Instagram or YouTube because everyone just looks like they have it all together. And I always wanna be here to remind you that no amount of followers or views or money or things that you have, material things will ever make you happy and as always I am just as lost as everyone else in the world and um, I'm glad we can get through this together so that's my rant for the day now to celebrate um, my brain resurrecting from the dead and me coming back to life um, I have a fun activity for us planned thank you thank you very much <laughs> namaste brother this is completely off topic, but you know, guy, like this was such a middle school thing when, wow, well, what was it? They were like, <laughs> yeah, all of those guys are in prison now. So there's that. Hi, welcome to my closet. Come in. <laughs> so we are in my closet for a very important reason. Okay, so up on this shelf, I have my dear, dear, dear friend. This is my hoodie. Almost like the sister that I never wanted. For my personal life story, I am calling 2019 and 2018 and possibly 2017 my breakdown year. And this, my friends, is my breakdown hoodie. I had my first scandal in this hoodie. I got my heart broken in this hoodie. I got scammed by a psychic in this hoodie. I've cried in a bathtub in this hoodie. I gained 50 pounds in this hoodie. This was like, my personality, all right? But we're gonna spare the glasses because they didn't do anything wrong. In 2020, obviously, like after the whole quarantine coronavirus thing, we are actively choosing happiness. And I also fit into my clothes again, so here we are at 10 o'clock on a Saturday in self-quarantine 2020. and I'm going into full planning mode because tonight is the night that we are having this funeral. Typically, if I was throwing any type of event, usually I would invite people, someone at least like my brother, but there is a six foot rule right now. I made a list of everything that we're going to need to have a proper 
send off guest. I want everyone who has had a part in the life of my comfort hoodie to be here. We're gonna need snacks for everyone. You're gonna have to have fire to sacrifice the culprit. Um, I wanted to have a nice grave because you know, it's done a lot for me. I'm not like that mad about it. And then tissues for crying, alcohol, oh, and party lights. But we're gonna see what we can do because I have limited supplies and I can't go to the grocery store because that is not something that I'm gonna do right now. My entire guest list made it. Let the party begin. Oh. You guys come here often? But you see, I always just find a way in. <laughs> With my best friend, I always show up. That's how you make friends. You just always show up. You never let him go, and you always hold him tight. <laughs> You're not even here. <laughs> now I'm starting to kind of panic. It's gonna be hard because I don't drink wine. This is my drink of choice. Yeah, me too. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? What? Cheers, Cheers to one another. Cheers, bitches. I Wait, is this like a thing where you want us to be like, it's good. <laughs> oh, it's bad. I have no idea. I literally have no idea. That Morgan Adams? Oh yeah. I used to know her. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. yeah me too. Oh, yeah, this is like a pretty big moment for me, so. Yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, so let's have pizza. What about that cheeseburger you ate the other day? Go get me some pizza, Morgan. Hashtag I'm Ryland's mom. They're gonna, gonna say... drag you, mom, if you say me. Yeah, 2020, man. It's been crazy because we're all just like expected to stay home alone, not talk to anyone. Like, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, so let's have pizza. <laughs> right now, I haven't had pizza yet. <laughs> Obviously, I'm like super busy. You know, like I gotta always keep my grind and, you know, us LA influencers. Friends and family. Jesus Christ, Morgan, this is a celebration of life, not a strip club. Ladies and gentlemen, that I had enough ink for. Silence. I'm gathered here today to celebrate the resurrection of my brain from the deep, 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 deep depths. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I have my lighter and my pan that I cook dinner in. My original plan was that it would be really, really fun to light the hoodie on fire. Kind of like the same vibe of Girl Scout camp when they make you write down on a piece of paper all the things that you hate about the other little bitches and then you put it in a pan and light it on fire and then suddenly you're not supposed to hate all the other little girls that sold more cookies than you. Yeah. It was supposed to be that kind of vibe, like put it in the fire and put it to rest. But then I remember that the guy that I rent this apartment from watches my videos. So if I light this apartment on fire, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have found the nicest box that I have. Um, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. <laughs> <laughs> any, any objections from the audience thus far? All right, can we do this? Wait, should I need to spray something? We can't, we can't light it on fire. The alcohol sh Don't point it out. We literally can't light it on fire. I'll do it. As a symbolism of my negative thoughts, self-hatred, general willingness to get hit by a car, we are going to put that in the box and put it to rest. And that is what will mark the new chapter of my positive lifestyle. Cue emotional music. Final words. Oh. Well, everyone, I hope you have fun social isolating because I clearly will be doing the same. It's two in the morning and I desperately have to go to bed, so. Farewell wishes, kids. <laughs>